Hey what's up guys and so in this video I want to talk about the digital well-being and parental control app on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and obviously if you're using any other Samsung phone and you're running Android version 10 and one UI 2.0 you will also have uh, this app on your phone and if you are using any other Android phone uh, you might also have uh, Google's own well-being app that Google actually uh, released uh, recently. But on Samsung phones, you will find it in settings uh, just above device care and it's called digital well-being and parental controls. It's a great app. I recently got to use it in terms of focus mode and I was blown away by how useful this thing is. Now, if you come in here, you will see uh, this dashboard thing here and uh, there are a few things that you can do here. Now, first of all, it will show you the amount of screen time uh, on the top, 3 hours and 5 minutes today. And then uh, you will see your goals, ways to disconnect and wind down and finally parental controls so let's uh, dissect each of these features now the first thing that i want to talk about here is the screen on time and here you can see that it shows the three most used apps on my phone and they are color coded and then uh, it also shows you the number of notifications i have received today and number of times i have unlocked my phone which is 41 so this is actually great data that you can get about your usage of your phone and your usage pattern and if you tap here you can see the trends for the entire week here and if you tap view more you will see all the apps that you've been using and then you can go further in the apps to see how much time you have used uh, these apps for today and then the notifications you receive from those apps and number of times you open those apps and you can see them by daily or by weekly trends if we scroll down you will see the number of notifications that you have received and it breaks down it with the apps that you received the notifications from so you tap view more and you will see the notifications that you've been receiving from these different apps which is again uh, something great and shows you how you've been using these apps and how many times you get these notifications and then obviously you can see from here if you're not using the app so much and still getting notifications from it you can cut down on the notifications and block the notifications from the app entirely and then finally you see the number of times you have unlocked your phone which is 41 times today 16 less from yesterday so the day is still going on but you can tap here and see the data uh, for the entire week or here in this case it shows for the last five days now let's move on to the next section which is your goals and here you can set up app timers which will limit the amount of time that you can use an app in a, in a day so if I go in here, I can set up these timers. So I can set up 15 minutes on YouTube, 30 minutes, one hour, or I can custom the time limit. But let's say I select 30 minutes. Now here you will see as soon as I select 30 minutes, which means I can only use YouTube for 30 minutes in a day, the YouTube go grayscale, which means I cannot use YouTube anymore because I have already exceeded the 30 minutes limit. So if I go in here and try to open YouTube it will tell me that I have run out of the timer I've exceeded the limit so I cannot use YouTube this is absolutely amazing and I'm just wondering why I didn't find or use this thing before so you can set it up on pretty much any app that you have installed on your phone which is again a great thing now moving on we have ways to disconnect and focus mode so this is another very good feature here and I recently used it and I was blown away by how useful this thing is so the way this works is that it actually avoids distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus which means that um, you know your app usage will be limited you will not be able to use any app if you don't exclude it which means you will not be getting any notifications so it's a time for you to focus or whatever you want to do so for example here i have work time uh, focus mode here if i go in here i have only one app that i can use which is google docs and everything else just goes away so if I start it, now I am in focus mode and, and I only have one app available. So if I go back, now you will see that these apps have turned all gray and I cannot use them except for Google Docs and I can use Google Docs and obviously you can use your phone for making calls in cases of emergency or something like that. So that's focus mode. Now you can create three different profiles here. You have work time, you have me time and you can create a third one with uh, different apps that you can use during these uh, focus modes let's turn this off and everything goes back to normal moving on we have wind down so wind down before bed by changing the screen to grayscale or blocking notifications 
so this changes your screen to grayscale black and white and cut down on notifications now you can go in here you can uh, set up a schedule for this so you can select the days you can select the time at which it will start and turn off and you're on your way you can use this in addition to do not disturb mode this is kind of like a uh, good night mode for your phone and I have it scheduled on so I'll turn it off because I don't use it and finally we have parental controls which is check on your kids so for this you actually need two Google Apps so you need family link for parents and family link for your kids and teenagers you'll have to download the family link for parents on your phone and family links for teenagers and kids on your kids phone and then you will be able to uh, limit and see how your kids are using their device now you can go in parental controls you can select your google account and then um, you can select your device to supervise your child's device go next and here it tells you what you can do you can manage your family group create google accounts for children supervise your children with family link and add another parent to help supervise your children with family link so you can actually see what your kids are doing on their device you can limit their app usage you can limit their screen time you can see the patterns of their device usage so yeah that's about it that was the digital well-being and parental control app on samsung galaxy s10 plus and again if you are using any other samsung phone look for it if you are on one ui 2.0 and android 10 you must have this app on your phone as well and if you don't you can download the google's well-being app on your phone or if you're using any other android phone you can still use and download the google well-being app and uh, that again provides you all these features this is just the samsung's version of the google's well-being app so yeah that's about it from this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments and if this video was useful uh, let me know in the comments as well and don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon and i'll see you in the next video till then take care Bye bye